And then lastly, um, I wanted to talk about recyclability. Uh, this is a, a hot topic that we've been discussing for a while with a variety of OEMs, uh, but it hasn't been until recently um, that we've really started to, to make some headway. Um, we're seeing a lot of pool from AAM markets, AAM customers. They really want to leverage some of the existing scrap. Um, and we're seeing, you know, some of the, the legacy, you know, commercial aerospace manufacturers um, trying to introduce more thermoplastics into their builds. Um, and the motivation here is, you know, thermoplastics are recyclable. So they're thinking 30 years in the future, you know, how are we going to decommission this platform or 20 years, whatever it may be. Um, we want to be able to, to use that material, let alone we want to be able to use any material that is created during the scrap, during a current manufacturing process, any scrap that is created. Um, so we're, we're working with carbon conversions right now. Um, and these images are taken from their website. So thank you for that. Um, but we're really, um, we're working towards, you know, chopped as well as non-woven mats um, in collaboration, collaboration with several material recyclers. Um, a lot of the focus, the applications, the parts that we're chasing after, um, they're, they're non-structural, you know, they're interior parts, they're cabin parts. Um, we're using uh, resins and matrices that are great for flame, smoke, and toxicity, FST, um, things that, um, you know, won't necessarily see a high enduring load because we have not characterized them similar to, you know, some of the, the traditional materials. Um, but we'll begin working through that. I'm excited to see this happening. And, and it's great to see people reaching out to Green Tweet. I think, you know, as I mentioned before, a lot of our expertise is in the molding, it's in the processing of these materials. So, you know, although they're slightly different than what we're, we're currently used to, I think, um, you know, if we're able to, to, to manufacture parts with a discontinuous, you know, high volume fraction, that, that DLF material has a 6% volume fraction, 70% by weight, if we're able to do that with longer chips, I'm, I'm confident that we can do it with a, a material that's going to have a higher degree matrix. Um, so right now, again, we're in the, the early stages. We're, we're manufacturing panels. Uh, we're looking to make some some simple demonstrator parts, but very excited about this, um, and we're seeing a lot of attraction. I think it's great to see thermoplastics getting the, you know, the attention that they deserve from a recyclability and sustainability perspective. Mm -hmm.